Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. Today we'll be making beef suya using our oven. And this comes with the sidelines, which is tomato, cucumber, and onions, and with the pepper, which is some people native language is called yayi. I used a very tender beef. So come along with me to see how it's made. Thank you. These are the list of the ingredients and you start with your beef. I've actually cleaned my beef now and it's time for me to marinate it. These are what I will be using, all the ingredients, all the necessary ingredients. So the list of the ingredients again, then it's um, beef. If you have the tradition of um, cleaning your beef before cooking, then you have to do that. I've done that and it is time for me to show you how we will be seasoning it together so make sure your beef is um, i'm using a very tender beef here which is called lean beef it's actually very very tender if you like your beef very tender then you can buy this type of beef when you go to the market the most tender beef is lean beef or steak beef they're very very tender so i started with the saracen vinegar with um seasoning powder seasoning chicken powder seasoning a little bit of oil um, so that you can mush together when you marinate it so just um i'm going to put my yayi pepper which is called suya pepper but in the northern part of nigeria it's called yayi so put in um the spice and um one beef cubes so i'm going to marinate it together in Make sure you massage it properly in it. Once it's done, then I'm going to start by sticking it. Get your bamboo stick. And stick it this way. And what first I did was um, I make sure they cut it into like slice for me in the market. So you can do it for you by yourself if you have a very sharp knife. Make sure it is um, flatly cut. And um, the vinegar actually will make it's, um, the work of the vinegar or rice wine. If you're using rice wine, I use vinegar is to make the beef uh, more tender. Most especially if you're not used to some kind of um, this very kind of um, um, lean beef or beef steak if you're using leg of beef which is um, um, quite other than this one a bit tougher than this then make sure you use your um, a bit of more of your rice wine then it makes it very tender so I'm just trying to it's a bit too wide so I'm just trying to slim it down as in time of wheat in terms of the wheat so it can be a bit slim So once all is thick, um, yeah, I'm going to make sure everything is thick and done, finely thick. So it's all done now. So the next step is for me to coat it with a spice, with a sweet spice. While I do that, I'm going to add some um, getting your prepared pan. A bit of maggi in the spice a little bit not too much you should bear in mind that most um, yayi pepper spices actually has some seasoning in it as well so a bit of salt and um, then to add more yayi pepper it actually consume a lot of pepper so bear that in mind um, if um, then I'm going to be coating the beef with it If you, I'm going to put the link below this. If you need um, to get your spice original one, very good one. I'm going to share a link um, where I buy from in London here. Yeah? If I'm not buying from back home. So I, I buy from this person if I actually run out. So I'm going to share a link with you. Then you can just give her a call 
to get it. It's actually very good. Very, very, um, there's the originality, the taste, it's, um, of good quality. So I'm going to coat this way. This is actually the first coating. So I'm going to do it all to the hand. Then after the very first coating, and I'm going to coat it again the second time. So you see what I said, it actually consumes a lot of pepper. So make sure you wear your glove, especially if your hands are quite sensitive to pepper. It will be nice for you to protect your hand with gloves. Once um, this is all done after coating the fourth stage and I'm going to do it again um, the second time. It is um, so that I, I can be very very rest assured that it's well coated. It's actually another step of marinating the um, suya season in it. You can see I'm trying to make sure it's all coated. So that is done and I'm going to do it the second time again. So anyone that is not well coated, I'm going to just be adding more to it the second time. And massaging it properly into the beef. The whole idea of eating suya is the spice makes the suya. Suya, the spice makes the suya what eating suya. So that's the key ingredient. I'm massaging it again properly into it the second time. Some are actually well coated the first time, so I don't need to do it again. But when I figure out some are not well coated, I have to do it all over again. So this is it one by one. Done. The only difference between this is just that it is not cooked in the charcoal. So that doesn't mean we should deny ourselves from not eating our suya when we crave for it. We can as well make our suya from the oven. Just the tiny bit of difference is that it's not done in the open air with the coal. The flavor of the coal is just the, the one absent. Apart from that, it's very tasty and we still... I'm not going to miss our street Nigerian food that we'll buy in the evening. So, it's all done now. And the next step is I'm going to be adding a little bit of more oil. In which I'm going to be brushing the oil into all the beef. Then I'm going to take it. After doing that, it's part of making it sure that it's mushed into the beef itself. Add more oil. The oil wasn't enough, so I'm adding more oil. So I'm going to brush it all in into the beef. Once it's done, especially the first batch of the um, beef, I'm going to put in. Brush it all, and I'm going to turn it to the other side and do the same thing on the other side as well so cutting it on the other side so it's done on the first batch and I'm going to put it in the oven on the scale of 1 to 10 make sure your oven is on 7 then that will be fine you don't want it to be um, cook in a hurry in order to make it to um, what is it called to get burnt faster and to take the tenderness away from it so I'm checking it after the first time it's not yet cooked yet but you can see it's becoming golden brown and it's cooking slowly and not burnt so you just have to be careful and make sure it's not burnt you can see this is like let me say about 40 percent cooked but i'm still going to put it all put it back into the oven so i'm going to leave it to cook for the leaf for another um three to five minutes 
then I'm going to check it again. So I will say it's about um sixty seven C percent cooked, yeah. So but it's moist. If you like it a bit dry, like like dry, 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 then you leave it to cook for the leaf. It's a bit moist here. So and we like our food to be um well done and not half cooked. Especially most Africa, I believe if you are in um the same category then you have to do this way and make sure it's well cooked. You don't want to eat your suya with blood in it. So done. It's actually cooked all done. So this is it, yeah. And I'm just going to chop it. I believe um I always prefer my suya even when I'm buying from the street uh, in, in, in Lagos, Nigeria, I always love my suya to be taken out of the stick. But some of us might just like to put it out from the stick itself. So it's either you cut it or you just chew it half from the, from the stick. So you can see how tenderly it looks. It's not just in look, it's actually very, very tender. Very tender, very tender. So... That is how I make my oven suya. And I'm going to put the second batch. That's the first one. And that will carry on. So this is the end look of my suya, guys. It looks lovely and it tasted yummy and nice. Thanks for watching and for your support. Remember to like, share and subscribe. See you again soon. Bye for now. Ciao, ciao. Bye.